Hello and welcome to Wildland Restorations and another new series. Another new series. Another new series. This is the first ever Escort RS2000. The first ever one made. That's cool. This is a cool it, it, this car. This is the coolest Escort. This is a cool car. Yeah. This is and weirdly enough, we're starting at the end. This is it. We're it's starting finished. at the end. We're finished. <laughs> that, that was quick. Right, cut. Let's go on. <laughs> So this car came to us on a trolley, it needed a paint refresh, it needed a bit of welding. Turns out it needed a bit more than a paint refresh and it was <laughs> supposed to come with no welding, yes. welding already done. So to our surprise when we popped the glass out there was corrosion. Bit, well, you're going to okay. have to follow the story and see aren't you basically. Well, so yeah. uh, this is episode one, enjoy. This car is coming for a paint job. Um, not a lot of work to do to it. It is a very nice car, but it's had plenty of blow-ins over the years. We'll take you around those, showing you all the little bits and pieces that we've got to repair. There's a fair amount of work under the engine bay. The body itself is, is quite tidy. Um, but I don't know if you can see there's a, there's a terrible blow in there. There's a bit of rust here. There's some paint flaking on the front. It needs some work to be show quality. And speaking of shows, this one is going to the NEC in November. It is the classic car show. Um, so, yeah, it's that's only what two months away. November, yeah. Yeah, only two months away. So this is a couple of week turnaround on this couple job. Couple week turnaround. We've got to get it back to the guys because um, it needs all its um, bits put in back on and the engine put back in. It's. Um, it's quite a nice survivor actually, like this. Um, underneath has never been touched or welded, so real it's a nice, car, a nice real survivor nice car. car. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to fluff about chatting about it too much. I'd start showing them what is what. To be honest, we them. haven't got long. We better start tearing into it. Yeah. Chop on. Give me a grinder. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we have to do when starting a new project is identify all the areas that need attention. So what we do, Lou, would you introduce the green roll of masking tape? Here it is. It's green, it's little, it's um, masking tape. <laughs> it's masking tape. We rip off a bit and stick it where it needs to go so we don't miss things. Right, first off, I think there was a little bit of bubbling down here. Just on that. Yeah, you're definitely right. There's yeah. some blistering. Sorry about the flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. There's some blistering yeah. there. And, uh, Stick and a bit of tape on it. Right. So that needs... That needs attention. <laughs> There's some corrosion here we have to investigate though. It looks really weird actually. This whole corner. Yeah. It looks like it's been done before. See the wobbles in that there. Yeah, see how this, see how this line's not crisp here? Hmm. We need to, we need to zoom in. It's lost its definition there, so we shall investigate that. There's the obvious massive chip in the paint there. Big old chip there. Right, under the windscreen, you can see there's a little bubble of rust coming out there. When we take the windscreen out and remove this trim, we shall see if there's anything else hiding under there. Mark there's that also up. this. Bit of paint for that coming back coincides with this lovely blend mm. down through here. Lovely blend. That, that crazing and cracking, it's all through this front nose cone, especially bad on this corner. So we shall fix that. There's a few dents in the front of the bonnet from the old slam in. So better put some. Do you want to pop the engine bay? Should we do the engine bay while we're here? Whilst we're here. Whilst we're here, pop the bonnet if you would. Doing. Here we have the engine bay of the car. Now, on the job list is to remove and replace this battery tray. It's looking a bit scabby under there, so we shall clean all that up, repaint, make it nice, put a new battery tray in. 
Can you remember oh. anything else? Sealer. Sealer is cracked. Sealer's cracked. Um, we've got to really carefully take this out. This is an original piece. Yeah, um, very hard to come by these. Gonna be fragile. Um, Super fragile. No, I think it just is. If there's probably going to be a bit of rust by the bowl, we're just going to clean that off and cure it. There's a hole there that needs welding up. This needs welding. Green tape, please, if you would. This lovely original sticker, though, that's going to have to go. I think that's for um, timing and points. Oh, I love old stickers like that. Okay. Aerial hole has to go. This is not original. If you could take that for future reference, thank you. There is a big old dent in the back, I do believe. Let's have a look. I love the way the serial number for the rubber spoiler at the back is imprinted into the paint. It's hilarious. Bit of a ding in the middle there. Let's have a look. As you can see, you can see gap yeah, there. That means there's been a bit of a ding. We'll have to massage that back into position. Um, but the first stage, now that we've had a look around the car, I think the first thing we need to do is take the old glass out. Yeah. Right, any painter will tell you silicone is the worst thing in the world. So the first thing we always do with our cars is decontaminate them with some, some anti-silicon panel wipe and a nice microfiber which is going to panel wipe over the whole thing, spray it all down and make sure we wash any of that crap off. As best we can anyway. As best we can, yeah. So just, just going to fire it on and wipe it off. No, wax on, wax is. off. Wax on, wax off. Look, I'll tell you. Oh my god. Scabby, but not too bad, though. No hole, thank God. It's that one. Interesting. What is that? It only happens to be a hole, Governor. <gasps> hole number two. Not too bad though. Weldable. What's that? And we have all of this. Micro blistering or well, blistering Stay from the damp. <laughs> they're not micro. No, they're not.
has a rusty bit here. Ah, should, should give it a poke? Yep. And we have a new drain hole. Hole number three. Go move. Look at this. Simple things, Avi. Simple things. Simple things. Simple things. It's very satisfying. You're just right. jealous. Ooh, job number. Which job is that? Uh, hole number, number three. Yeah, but job number oh, one. Oh, job number one. And the biggest job on the car, well, the biggest takey downy, takey a party job. The biggest takey a... The biggest takey outy, putty away bit. I'm glad you could say that. Yeah. Um, all Is... the glasses out. That's the main thing. Glasses out. All safe. Now the real work begins. What's that then? Tea time? Excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what the problems are. Hello. Hello. The problem is the, um, the screw is just spinning. It's just going round and round. Round and round and round. So I'm going to try it and whizzing it out at the same time. Have you asked asking it nicely to come out? No, I've been swearing at it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that is good news. Good news. Cool beans. Right, so we're going to leave it there for this episode, and so, join us next time when we'll be moving on to the next stage. Do some welding. Welding. Uh -huh.